Nebraska is set to kick off against Oregon and Eugene at 3.30 Central Time on Saturday, at least for now. Here's a look at Austin Stadium today as wildfires in Oregon forced the Ducks to move practice 60 miles west this afternoon due to hazardous air quality levels. Mike Riley says on his teleconference today there are no plans yet to move the time or date of this weekend's game. Back in Lincoln, Nebraska, hitting the practice field for day two of preparations for the Ducks. The news of the day, redshirt freshman Matt Farniak taking reps at starting right tackle with David Neville in a boot. Des Moines personnel was not in pass today, and safety Joshua Kalu was in a green no-contact jersey. Kalu and the black shirts gave up 497 yards last week, but that's not a concern for Bob Diaco. We had a plan to have them put plays together as many as they needed to that eventually a drive would stall, an error would happen, uh, 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 interception, a third down we got off the field, a red zone stop, and that was going to be the tail of the tape. So we were excited about the plan. We executed the plan and won the game. Simple enough. Nebraska allowed just 10 points after halftime. With more on the black shirts, here's this week's Bennings Breakdown. Here with Big Red Zone expert Damon Benning of 1620 The Zone. Damon, new defensive coordinator, mm -hmm. new scheme, kind of the same old results in week one against the good offense. What can fans expect moving forward? Well, I think you should assume that he's competent. I know that that's not the easy line of thought after what we saw on Saturday night, but let's remember, a lot of base personnel. I think he knows more than both myself and those at home. So let's assume that he can change his philosophy. I think that's the correctable part. The difficult part is, is the round peg square hole. There were some guys that I felt struggled initially, especially defensively, that have to play better. Are they capable? We'll see. If not, take a look at some new defensive packages as Nebraska will get a lot of their base personnel off the field.